Okay, so there was a fight in the family. Some of them wanted to stay off here and others wanted to go back to the water. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, they were talking about the kids, so... Well, they're not a family, but yes. It makes it... Yeah, the guy that was I was just hearing about in the third one, I'm fairly sure. Well, the sure. kid is the art guy. Because I heard the third one before I heard the first one. And then I guess that other facility is going to have the second one. Yes. If I can find a safe way to get to it. On the right side, there's no crawlers. I hear something moving and that bothers me. There's travelers that aren't there. It certainly sounds like it. I think they actually do spawn on this planet. Oh, yeah, on that purple tablet. Area. Planet. I might as well grab it. Also, more abandoned PDA. That's the fourth one. What is that thing? I don't know. Found it outside. You can listen to them in order after you push them all up if you want. They are talking about the purple tablet they found. And luckily, the crawler that, that had spawned in here inside the little base had gotten stuck against some beams. Data box. Ultra glide fins. Nice. That's probably gonna be useful. Oh. Oh. Well, my flashlight ran out of power. Oh. Oh, no. What about you? Probably pull the ba pull rifle. Me, battery out of the habitat builder Fair and put it in the flashlight. You know, that sounds useful. I do hope there's a way to recharge batteries or something later. Okay, that's good. Cool. Especially since the there game decided to bug out again. Oh! Battery in the box! Yes! That means I'll also be able to... Um, to power up the, you know, the sea glider, kind of important thing. Bye bye, lithium. And that's yet another abandoned PA. Oh, that's the second log.
Takagi yourself. Say, Chief. Chief, what? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of stormwater? Or how to conscious move them from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boys like to eat today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry, you start with Okay, so it rains very strongly. Okay, data bank. Our Torgal slug. Oh, some of them are related. Yes, but one of them is not. After days drifting in the light pot, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I hadn't made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not going to weaken our life to her physical altercation and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. One task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Oh, so I actually. So I'm actually getting more coordinates because of listening to those PDAs. Also, one of the light. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Kind There's information scary, right? about them and they might kind of scary. automatic thing as the coordinates. Also, one of the life distress pods, the life pod 19, is apparently right under this island. Yeah, about 300 meters down. Well... Kind of gonna take a minute to get to. Yeah, I'm not making it. I'm just gonna go back up to the surface. I tried. And then it's a rock and no sign of the of a direct line to the 
thing. And so yes, you're right. This is indeed floating. It's not, you know, it's not floating over the water, but it's floating on the water by a bunch of jelly. Yep, I suppose that's basically the super version of it. Also, propose the gassy I habitat. remember those floaters you found earlier. Those are giant birds. I get the feeling I shouldn't be going that way. Well, the propose, proposed yeah. the gassy habitat is the habitat that they were talking about. Yeah. It's really deep. Uh, more importantly, first I need to. I'll get recommend back getting to a sea moth or a cyclops oh. first. And the main reason I I have no intention of going to that proposed habitat just yet is because that looks like it's right under the big ship, and I know what else is right in that area. <laughs> Well, it's in the same direction from where I am right now. No, it's probably... I, I know where the proposed guess Well, I'm not it. anymore, but... I scanned everything I could scan and... Yeah, it's because you're on the island. Back home. <laughs> and once we make it there or die trying, I'm just gonna... Probably call the live stream there and try to get my CMOD back, among other things. That wasn't so bad, actually. I just realized I've been having one of my one of the cameras in my inventory for a while. I should I should I, and I could have just easily just dropped it. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean I could have dropped it before leaving with the CMOD. It only works within a hundred meters of your base. I mean, as long as just as it's just in the water, it's good enough, right? I mean, I mean, I could have dropped it near my base before. Yeah, but you can't CMOD control it to the island. Yeah, I just forgot. Yeah, but you needed to see that, and you were kind of in a hurry, anyway, so. Um... Bulkhead provides structural support and prevents flooding. Okay. Not sure where I got that. Oh, right, probably from scanning the. Yeah. Also, observatory. Uh... Did you get the. Did, yeah, did you get the big room? I get the feeling I didn't. I got the composite plant up, uh, uh, plant pot and the indoor grow bed, so that's good. Hmm. Okay, so why not? Damn it. So no, you didn't get it. The jelly strong? You get the big room, or the big one from, uh, I think, the jelly so shroom. Okay. Couldn't remember if you get it from the jelly so shroom it, or... So it's not something I missed in the island or something. Okay. Uh, anyway, I was going to build... No. Another wall locker. Alien stuff. I mean, it's an appropriate name. 
<laughs> also, radio message. Um, that's not human. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> aliens. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Don't, don't hunt me, please. I'm going to leave this. Some feet. Actually, I can probably take one of these extra eggs. And... Yeah, that should do it. I'll find out how to identify them sometime. I'll actually, just place the seeds over here for now. Metal. I got some gold, three diamonds. Yeah, that's a pretty good hole and five lithium. And I'll set the empty battery in, um, I don't know, the alien stuff locker for now. So, I will need a specific room for this one thing, for the grove inside I me. Mean. Yeah, I mean the multi-purpose room, right? Until you get the big room. So there's this foundation thing, not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure what I do with it, but yeah, they're useful. It's useful for building bases. Oh, it increases all stability. I mean, I haven't made anything with windows other than low, the like the hatch, windows. So that should be fine. Your base will crack and it'll get flooded. Um, blueprints. I do seem to have new blueprints. Oh, enameled glass. With Stalker Tooth, yay! Fair enough. Oh, I can actually make plastic gun now. I'm not sure what it's useful, but I can make it. Will it's I get new recipes get. when I make one? Oh. Well, at least I got the recipe for the stasis, yeah. ri stasis rifle. Yeah. I mean, I guess the laser cutter. I, I. Yeah, the only somewhat gun in the game. Oh. No. I can make the ultra the ultra glide fins. Stasis rifle and the knife are the two closest things to weapons in the game. Yeah, and I have enough for it too. Yeah, I recommend doing that. So I need to grab one lithium. Yep. Um, where are the ultra light fins? Oh, I probably need to. No. Where's the stasis rifle? Why does it not show up on equipment? Why does it not show up on equipment when I go to the fabricator? The what? ultra light fins. Do I need a better fabricator? What? God damn it. Oh. You know, that thing yeah. I haven't even unlocked. <laughs> you gotta make the workshop or whatever it's called. I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. 
At this point, you don't even need mm -hmm. me here anymore. It's just fun listening to you. Now that I've, now that I've explained all the small stuff, because the small stuff is the most. I'm gonna start spreading the underwater stuff so I can, you know, expand the base a bit. Compartment. Oh, I need more titanium. Um, more importantly, composite plant pots can still be used for growing, right? So, small stuff, but can still be made to get ideas. Yes, but not like the tree or anything. Like, you can put a bulb of a tree in there, I think. I think. Mm, bulb of tree... I also got some marble melon seeds, so that might need... Oh, fuck. Yeah, and uh, I also kind of accidentally... Um, marble melons are pretty yeah, good. I ate the, bu the bull button, yeah. which means I'm, not going, I'm now going to die from starvation. I'm ate from it. Dehydration. It'll be fine. What do you mean everything? Just put everything up first. The point? Store everything. All of the resources in your inventory if you die. Okay, which you'll lose stuff. Oh, shit. So yeah, we're going to finish this trend with Adet. Yay! Oh, apparently you can grow any of those trees with in the planter. It has a two by two slot, <laughs> and I'm dead. Yeah, uh, I'm currently growing a lantern. Definitely growing one of those. Probably the wrong location. Not that I think about it, given that that's it's a lot of that's a lot of food. Locus. Yeah. In fact, well, first time Yeah, I would probably stuff. recommend expanding a little bit before you went any farther. Um, take the long term tree. Oh, I cannot take it out now. Can I deconstruct? If I dis if I deconstruct it, I lose it, right? Okay, so I'll just yeah, wait for it to grow. Once it's in there, it's in there. Lantern planting. Yes. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go down and build a few hallways underneath so I can, you know, actually place planters in positions where they won't get in the way. The indoor grove doesn't actually fit in at the end of a hallway. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're probably gonna need the multi-purpose. Well, for now. Just make a few more plant pots and. Chinese potato and firm palm or something. And I guess at some other time I'll go look for more of the Huva trees or whatever they were called. Yeah, probably. Anyway, I hope you all had fun. Go get the bulbar tree off stream. I'll see you next time. Oh, I should probably switch what I what is scanning for. I don't really know. Wait, it can just scan for Stalker Tooth? Does that mean there's just Stalker Tooth lying around out there? Huh. But yes. first. Ah. Uh... Yes. The way it works is you get the Stalker to bite oh. down on a. Uh... <laughs> that would explain it. <laughs> And they'll and drop they their bite on everything anyway. Like your camera. You know, I'm just gonna switch back, Probably switch switch that back to fragments here. because with biting. Yeah. I could use more recipes and I could use more titanium. That, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> and those plants will eventually grow larger. And what you can do is um, go out, build mm. a, fr a inner room yeah. in the middle of a new biome, jam for yeah, whatever so out there, and go pick it up and leave. Lantern is growing consistently. It's currently at 26% already. Sadly, the melon doesn't seem like it grows into multiple. Well, what you do is you hit it with your knife and cut off a piece of it. Apparently, it doesn't work that way. Hit it, you can hit it like four you or five times. You hit it once and you grab four of them immediately. <laughs> Apparently, it hadn't. But now there's four melon plant seeds in the grower, so. Oh, that must be why I, I had just placed the actual. What the what the, the actual melon inside <laughs> instead of the seed? Yeah, well, I'm glad I mentioned it. Anyway, hope you have fun. Ah, uh, yeah, that would make I'll a lot see more you sense next time. Bye.